Stu Taylor here with Randall Stevenson, the Managing Director of Duff and Phelps. Uh, and um, he's here, Duff and Phelps Securities. It's, it's great to have you with us. Well, thanks for having me, Stu. Well, it's investment banking. That's your area of specialization. It opens certainly a lot of eyes, especially in today's climate. Uh, perceptions in terms of the nature of the business with our worldwide economy and such dramatic changes. Has there been a metamorphosis in, in any changes in recent years in terms of what your role, your responsibility is in the nature of investment banking? Oh, oh my goodness. Has there ever. Uh, I got my start really in investment banking uh, a long time ago. Uh, I worked for uh, Paul Volcker, the former Federal, uh, Federal Reserve Chairman, and Jim Wolfenson in their firm called well, Wolfenson and & Company. And I remember when, when we first got started back in the day, uh, this is back before computers and laptops. Uh, if you just produced a, a stock price volume graph for a client, the client would say, oh, what wizardry did you use to create this? this? is fantastic. How did you get this information? Well, you know, fast forward now. I mean, my 12-year-old my son can dial it off of uh, Yahoo Finance. So today the business has changed. Today it's about helping clients get the right answers. It's about making connections between relationships, introducing clients to other clients to put together transactions that might not otherwise happen. It's got to be a difficult climate. We've become so sophisticated technology. How can you ascertain, or can't you, that the tools we use to measure performance are, in your case, value? They are indeed valid and applicable that can be used as a standard. Hmm. Well, one of the things that we're, one of the problems with a lot of the financial tools that are used out there, uh, they measure and compare against the norm, uh, whether it's a uh, capital asset pricing mo uh, module, uh, whether it's uh, some of the other valuation methodologies that investment bankers use. You compare the business to what is norm in the, in the, in the industry. Right now, with all the changes going on in Europe, with the rapid rise of India and China, it's hard to say what the norm is. And so you really do need a new approach to valuation that really accounts for these abnormal, uh, but regular and fairly constant uh, incidences that are going on in the market. Well, what's going on, and obviously you could have an elongated conversation about uh, China holding our, our value in their own hands and the whole world really interwoven. Is there a different standard in measuring value overseas than there is domestically here? Let's confine that to the mining sector. I would say no. I mean, the value of uh, mining a mineral asset in the ground is, is the same whether it's located in China or Ukraine or South America or Canada. Uh, but the value of that mineral generally in the marketplace that is something that's evolving, and it's evolving because of the disparate growth and demand equations that's going on in various parts of the world. We think back of 2002, Sabanes Oxley, uh, a corporate uh, responsibility, fiduciary responsibility, uh, corporate governance, and the fact that uh, we almost had an elastic effect. Too much constraint inhibits business. It does not allow CEOs to move out of their comfort zone and to try something that is that has a reasonable degree of risk in nature. Has that changed due to the, the temper, temperament of the market, the negative reflections cast upon the industry as a whole, the banking industry, the investment industry, and the lack of confidence? Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's really a conundrum because on the one hand, I think many people feel that the excessive layer of your bureaucracy and reporting and uh, compliance that's been heaped upon some of these companies actually retards their growth. It retards their ability to seek out new opportunities and really maximize value for the shareholders. At the same time, with what we've witnessed in the marketplace, obviously there's, there's a need for um, compliance. There's a need for review and for monitoring. And so to strike that balance is very difficult. Um, and I think it's going to be something we should continue to struggle with.